How long does your marketing department spend on creating an email? Probably somewhere between two to 10 hours, depending on the size of your company. That's for one email designed, campaign created, click through journey. But then also think about how many emails in your inbox you actually scroll right past or archive or delete immediately. Spending all this time on an email and 90% of the people are going to delete it immediately. Okay, that's not even talking about your open rate. That's just talking about they go into it and they delete it. The reason is because you're not personalizing your emails. Now, I'm not just talking about saying, hey, name or hey, company. I'm talking about segmenting your audience so that they're getting only what they really want. See, we've been conditioned over the past decade to target high open rates and high click-through rates and mass emails, getting as many subscribers as we possibly can. But we're forgetting that no matter how much subscribers or even over on social media followers we have, those don't matter if people don't care. So one of the best ways that you can target the right person who's going to make the decision to engage with you or hire you is to personalize your email to them and only send them what is going to be effective for them. Now, the personalization can go throughout the entire email. You can personalize your subject line, which is proven to get 26% more open rates than if you don't personalize those subject lines. And you should personalize your opening. You should say, hey, John, hey, Susie, hey, Frank, if you're writing an email directly to somebody in the more B2B space. If you're in the e-commerce space, you still should target and personalize if possible. It will increase your results. It will improve your results. So just because you're selling products and you're not selling services doesn't mean you shouldn't personalize. So personalize that opener as well. And lastly, I would encourage you to personalize one more time somewhere in the email, if possible, towards the end. Because everyone personalizes the opener, but very few people personalize the actual message down in the body of the email or towards the end. This will show that you're just a little bit more personal than other people. But again, going back to the beginning, the key here is not just to personalize the email copy, it's to personalize the actual email that you are sending to them. So if you have a newsletter, you're a B2B company of 20,000 people on your newsletter, would you rather have 20,000 people getting one email and having an open rate that's 20% or 25% or something like that, and then having a click-through rate in there that's 0.5% or lower, and having no actual leads generated from that email? Or would you rather have a segment of 500 of those 20,000 people who are all super interested in this one particular type of email that you're sending out in this one niche or segment inside your business, and you get an open rate of that email of 70%, and out of that 70%, you get a 10 or 20% click-through because the thing that they're clicking in is so interesting, and out of those 10 or 20% click-through, you get one, two, three, four leads interested in that specific thing. Which one's better? 20,000 people getting this email or the 500 that are super interested? I will let you be the judge and I'll see you in the next video.